Greetings and salutations to you all my dear friends, as always I hope you are very well. Welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 Sim Settlements with your good buddy Kluger and of course our old mate Ron the Dude Person. Hello, yes. Now look, viewers, FYI, first of all I'm recording this between episodes 11 and 12 have gone out. Uh, so I have received your feedback with regards to naming the areas of the vault, but there is a more pressing piece of information I must share with you. Now, okay, this is real sad. This this episode's going to end up being a bit of a tour slash recap because this is in fact the seventh, seventh, dear God, this is the second time I have recorded this episode, or this is my second recording session. As I've said to you guys, I've been recording in batch, and yesterday in real lifetime, I recorded three episodes where the audio of my microphone died for all three recordings. Like, completely, like, unusable. Like, it, it was torture to the ears, and I had to delete it all. So I did nearly an hour and a half to two hours of work, like, IRL work, spent my time doing stuff on the vault and taking you along, and it is all gone. All that footage is gone. The work has been done, so you missed out on a lot of fun and good times and collaboration, but also... I couldn't use the footage. It was it was a, it was an utter disaster. I've tested my microphone now. Did a little test recording. Everything should be working fine now, but I'm afraid all that footage <coughs> is gone. It's a real bummer. So I'll do my best to recap everything that uh, we would have done together if the footage was any good, uh, and we, we will go from there. Another quick preface, and I mentioned this in my first set of recordings. I currently have a cat in my vicinity. We got a new kitten. If you've been following me on social media, her name is Bonnie, and she's very small and codependent right now, and won't leave us alone. So to keep her quiet, I have to have her inside the room with me. And so you might hear a mew or a, I love the fancy camera. So you might hear some mewing or some pestering or me telling her off, but it's fine. Uh, let's get our camera situation back on. So we're at 28 settlers now, um, which is more than where I left off when I finished um, my last set of recordings. So we're way, this is a big jump and I know it's kind of really, me that's a cool view. So it's, it's gonna, it's gonna mess things up to a certain extent, which is a real shame. <sighs> But anyway, we've got to do what we've got to do. So, uh, oh geez, I can't remember everybody's names now because I did so many call-outs last time. But a lot of commenters, someone suggested finish some Minutemen quests and Doge Me will be unassignable. I did that. I just had to hand in the Ten Pines Bluff quest and he could be moved. So now he just hangs out here, which is really, really nice. Also had a lot of feedback. Um, I think it was Miles, Jeff, and Charlie all had uh, very different but all equally cool ideas for names for the areas of our settlement and so I'm going to try and incorporate them all as best I can <coughs> where appropriate but um, we'll see how that goes I, I can't make any promises there right, uh, several areas have already been named but several still need to be named so that is a thing we need to do uh, I'm hanging out here because one thing that we that I recorded last time that we missed was a really really awesome uh, defense we got attacked by a bunch of feral ghouls and stuff and basically the majority of them only made it to about here one made it to here and got destroyed by these and one ghoul nearly made it somehow made it through all of this i don't even know how and i want to put i want to put probably another couple of turrets through these hallways but they actually made it to, to here which was crazy so i could put like a shotgun turret in this corner that would be really cool um and then, like, something to protect this, like, these straight shot hallways as well. I was thinking, like, a, a turret this way and a turret this way and then a shotgun turret here too. That could be hot. But we're in no immediate need for that. So, yeah. One ghoul got to about here and then got destroyed by these blokes. So that was really good. Now, look. There's a lot of, a lot of upgrades have occurred. But in this main area, things largely look the same. Uh, a lot of these individual houses have upgraded. But look as they were more or less which is really cool and i am glad for that because that we can skip through this fairly quickly which is nice i've added some extra detail to here as well as you can see just to try and give our main hail the ball area as uh, some extra shape which is real nice and so on and so forth now to to naming conventions i don't know why i charlie may have even suggested this because he suggested the um naming each area uh, after like a, a room in a mansion, which is a kind of cool, um, I don't know, like play on words sort of thing. I don't know, or like uh, undermining expectations because we live in a, a crap hole here. 
but we ironically name things after mansion places. This is the ballroom because the, you, know, you have balls in a mansion, but then we, we've got a ball here, ballroom. <laughs> Classic. And we're going to do that. And then I just, like, not two minutes ago off camera, I thought, yeah. this is where there's food. We'll call this the dining hall. Right? Because it's the diner here. Dining hall. Because it's like a hallway, sort of. Ha 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 ha. Kluga, you're funny. Oh god, it's fine. This bloke has upgraded to level 3 and it's looking very hot and dank right now. I'm very pleased about that. Man, there's so much that you missed out on. It's real sad. Uh, the, the main thesis of the last few episodes has been trying to get our food stocks back up and running. If I actually go to uh, settler mode... You'll see our food now is not bad. We've got 40 food for our 28 settlers. But at one point, we were at 22 settlers and like 21 to 22 food. So uh, there's a new farm here, which is like a hydroponic situation going on. And then this is a mushroom farm, which I thought was most appropriate, given the fact that we are underground. And this would probably actually grow underground, maybe, where some of these... We've got to make it up that, you know, there's some, like, fancy food, like, genetically modified technology that lets them grow in basically no light. So, uh, you know, let's just awkwardly ignore that TBH. Uh, I've added this here, too, um, because... So, this yeah. is Nicholas, I believe, who's running a bar. Um, my main inspiration is I wanted to put more box cuts to try out the... It was called the Hobo Bar, which is... This is now level 2. And it was, it's a bar designed to fit inside a rail, a, a box car. Now, it's clipping into the floor a bit. Um, yeah, we're just role-playing that they cut the floor off sort of thing to make room for the rail. It, you know, I just wanted to do yeah. it, okay? And it's kind of this whole, like, Nicholas is our resident hobo. Nothing to do with the fact that he's a ghoul, but he's, like, real stinky t-shirt and stuff. Like, it's worked out really well. <laughs> I, he's just, he's random. He's random arrival. That worked out perfectly. Uh, citizen improved the House of Ten Pines Bluff. That's a good job. And then this is where Nicholas lives. So, yes. you know, this is like trying to make a living for himself kind of situation. The main reason I installed this, however, is to get down here and make our second hallway functional. And then you can see I've built like a mock retaining wall there, which covers up the ugly underneath texture. <laughs> Clem's coming up in the world. He's got a real fancy house. Uh, I'll show you that bit over there in just a hot second. But first, we'll, we'll show you down here. So, this is the pool room following the mansion theme that we've got going on. As you can see here, the pool room. Classic. Very nice. Very good. I should take... This should be my, um... My thing. Thumbnail. Yeah. Except, wait, it's got to be less... It's got to be less off-center. Uh, more off-center. Less centered. I word good. There we go. Whoops. There we go. Cool. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's a play on words because there's water in here. I'm very... I'm, I'm very funny. Who split... Who... What? What? This? Who's, who's drowning? Are we good? I'm not going in there. Don't even. Uh, so this actually upgraded too, and I was actually forewarned that this is a real tall boy. Uh, I can't scrap the the I can't scrap that much roof. Uh, we're just gonna have to live with it and just ignore it, right? This is an advanced industrial which is still just chugging along. This all looks the same. No much to write home about there. Now this is farming station 2.0. So, this is the railway that you'll remember from last time, just to connect these two areas. But I thought it was a cool place to put some farm strats because uh, it's like they're using the water, right? They're pumping it up into their farms here, which yes. I thought was a real clever place to put some stuff. And we're not using it right now, but our next bit of farms, if I don't even know if they're going to fit, but we can path around to there and possibly cram a couple more in. And just to be a roleplay bloke, you know, I'm actually using the proper, pro proper blockage mechanisms for the unfinished pathway. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> Listen, I'm a real, I'm a real clever designer. Now I've, I've rejigged this whole pathway as well, uh, in an attempt to try and make it pathable for the settlers to get up there. And believe it or not, it actually works. Footage that has been lost to the ages would have shown you that uh, I can't remember who it was. One of our scrapper blokes was actually walking through here, and he went all the way down to the floor, and it was fantastic. Yes. So this is, this is again pretty much the same, barring. Uh, any upgrade, like some places have upgraded and I've added some more floor in some huh? places to accommodate settlements that have taken up more space. Like you see here, it's hanging a bit over and I see a bit over the edge. So I've given them some more floors. It just adds to the look anyway. So I'm, I'm totally okay with it. 
So this is another suggestion we had. Scrapped End is is the slum town. So you, it's pretty much still the same as well. I couldn't work on this area, unfortunately, because of our low food stocks. Um, we couldn't really be introducing more settlers because that would have cost us dearly. Uh, in like particularly just to have more ho more homes settled would have taken our food supplies down and caused a lot of problems. But you know, it's all good. We can start working on that now if we have the time. It's going to be a very we got a ways to go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so the dining hall, the shopping, the the nice commercial district hasn't really changed at all, bar just barring upgrades. But again, they they largely look the same. Yeah, I'm talking so fast. I'm, I'm running out of words real quick. So we'll go around to the attic. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm Sorry, I really needed to take a drink there because of all the words that are coming out of my mouth. Ha 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 ha! It's fine, mate. Clam, look, he's taking inventory. Really gets your heart beating. So I know attics usually really, are a place really above a house, but you know, attic sounds like a gross, dingy place, and it's a thing you would have in uh, a mansion. So here we go, the attic. Kaboom, look at this wiring job. I was very pleased with this in one of my previous, one of the pre old recordings, that this wire just goes through perfectly. Like, I didn't even have to cheat that. It just, it, it accepted that methodology. So the attic's going to be our slum residential. And as you can see, it's fairly fleshed out. <laughs> this is all work we did together off ca um, on camera, again, that I lost footage for, which is real, real depressing. But it looks really good. Now, I'll just do a brief recap. I might even just put one in just so we have have the headroom for, for more settlers. So we come down here. Um, I, I started doing this whole foundation thing because the floor in here is ridiculous. It's so bumpy. So I had to, to come up with a, let's say, a dynamic solution. <laughs> and we've got a spare one here even, which is really good. Uh, but I think it co it's come out really quite well for the most part. Um, Again, they're just they're using whatever scraps they have available to, to get themselves set up. Uh, so they, just, they slap a bit of they slap some pallets down and they, they sleep on them. It's real good. I'm, I'm real, I'm quite pleased. Yes. Yes. It's fine. All right, we'll get, I'm going to get rid of that limestone. I left that one there because I don't know, it just looks kind of cool. Uh, so we can probably slap another home in here, I, I, would, I would say. Yeah, good. So what I've been doing here is the USS Constitution stuff once again it is it has come to be very in handy uh because i've got foundation floors so a real just a real simple strat you know we can probably get this in nice and nice and tucked in yeah how, how close to the wall can we go um hello hello oh no why can't i place that's very weird has Fallout 4 upgraded? Okay, it's working now. That was strange. I was I was thinking that Fallout 4 did a rogue upgrade on me and, and broke place everywhere. I was gonna be real sad, boy. Like after the, like finding my old footage was all screwed and then oh, that, that would I would have been done. I would have deleted the series. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's a pretty good placement actually. But I'm getting a bit OC. I'm getting a bit triggered by them not facing the same way. Sometimes I don't care and sometimes I do. Like I I just I can't even I can't even tell you what are we gonna put in here. Hmm. Rude. And then, uh, you know, you just do a classic straight with the walls. You know, I've been sometimes snapping them in place. I don't know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit funny with it because they're a bit tall, but some of the houses require uh, extra height. Like even the, even the internal plots, some of them look strange. Like this one, I had to readjust because the bloke wanted to hang a freaking light off this plank. I was like, mate, what are you doing? But he was like, nah, man, I need lights. So I was like, all right, man, don't, don't even trip, Doge. So I, ha I had to acquiesce to his lighting request. At least he look. He made a quicker lighting decision than I did. I must, I must confess. Listen, mate, why are you being a laggy boy? Boom. All right, cool. You don't even have power. Excuse me, mate. You got a, you got a, you got juice right there. Rude. I might. Oh, that's gonna be a challenge though. Can I even? I can't even see the power conduit up there. Where is it? Can I? I can target it. Hmm. Rude. All right, cool. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little better that we're just getting back into a bit of a, a regular sort of rhythm. Um, yeah, I was re I was real I was real sad. I would I'd be editing right now. Like if this was if my f footage was solid, um, yeah, I would just be doing an edit job. But unfortunately, that's how I found out everything was broken. <laughs> so yeah. All right, let's go juice now. Very good. Um, I feel like this is a. F and a front platform situation. I have a cat that's about to fall off my lap, so yeah, there she goes. She did, she did a little squeak for you. Proof that she's IRL. 
Um, I've been liking these ones for the, for the for the overall woody aesthetic that we got happening right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, I've, I think what we'll do is decorate the area. Another one of my favorites, SOE barriers. It just, it makes, it gives a sense of depth, you know, without really much effort at all. <laughs> so if we just, like, pop one, uh, pop one of them in, and pop another one, uh, pop one of these in, it gives, you know, it gives this feeling like you're not supposed to go there, and so this empty space, um, while empty, <laughs> looks empty for a reason, I suppose you'd say. Um, and what we can do as well to kind of make it a little more um, potentially useful, I guess, is... Put one of these boys in, and then one of these blokes, and then you go defense. Well, we're way over our defensive quota for the time being, but, um, whoops, where am I doing defense? But it's more for, um, you know, your, your immersion, right? You, you definitely have things down here, just doing some, some of the old protection strats. What do we want? What do we want, but more importantly, what can I even afford to build? This gun was real expensive. Nothing, nothing too serious. I don't want to be freaking blow, blowing up our mates. Our own settlers. Heavy laser turret. That sounds hot. Listen, phone. Get out of here. Everything's going wrong all at once. Yes, furnish me with your power. Damn it, Ricardo. Ricky Summer, I keep... Uh, I can't not say that word. There we go. That looks real purposeful, right? I knew it. If we had just some random junk back here too, that'd be real cool. Um... Let's see. I haven't used Homemaker for a while. Electronics la vehicles. Would we have a... Would, would this fit? No. Miscellaneous? Would we have like a... Oh yeah, that would kind of make sense. Is there one that fits? This is such a waste of resources. Or like someone's brought a motorbike down? That'd be kind of cool. Um, Tractor... Tractor till what would they wouldn't have tractor oh tricycle that's actually kind of cool no we're not building a vertebrate forklift have I seen forklift down here or am I tripping I don't know mate I'm just I'm all about I'm all about immersive strats where's the where's the butt I can't I'm I'm trying to get it not floating too much. Yeah! Dude, that's such a good touch! From this angle, right? Listen, Bonnie! You're being a real Rudy! She's trying to get on my keyboard! Alright, we're good. So yeah, this is the attic. It's looking really nice. It's a little bit of a shame, like, I really wish the back walls... Maybe, maybe there's gonna be a mod maker that's gonna come out of woodwork and make, like, standalone plots, you know? What my my whole hope for internal what what are now called internal plots was more plots that didn't need walls specifically. Like imagine in like in this situation where people are turning up and there's already a roof over your head. You've got the cave in over your head, so you don't need a roof. You might want like a privacy screen or something like that, but ultimately, you just need a place to lie down and put a bed. You know what I'm saying? So just where they have a little, maybe they'd have a floor or just like some ropes, I don't know, something to demarcate their area. And that's all you need, right? But you know, these are more like to put inside custom buildings. I think we're still making it work. Uh, I'm definitely doing something a little different. Clemmy, you don't even live here. Get out of here, you blokey bloke. I don't know what he's, what he's doing. There's not even any fun things down there. <laughs> so I don't even know. All right, cool. So I think that's the real long and short of it. I did, oh, oh, look, stuff's been going on at Ten Pines Bluff as well. It's it's fully through level one, and is should hopefully be in the process of getting up to level two. Um, as in like auto build strats with the rise of the Commonwealth stuff. Um, not much else to say there. It's still in that process. It's it's, it's not yes. quite hitting the high, uh, the happiness criteria. I don't think. Um, nor is it reaching. Um. I think that's about it. I think it just needs to sort of trundle along for a while, and it should... And it needs, like, some IRL, like... I think to go up to level 1, it needs 10 in-game days, so it needs more to go to level 2. So we'll have to just hang tight for a while. That looks really cool. I'm real pleased with that. <laughs> One thing I was thinking as well, I've been using different colors for different things. Um, sorry, different neon. That was so uh, vague. I apologize. 
different neon colors to mark different areas. Like the pool room was green and scrap sand is orange and the attic is white. I was thinking we're appropriate if we can if we can stick to that color ho color coding cohesion, we might be able to um, use that as a reference to navigate me back when I get lost in the depths of this place. Um, so maybe maybe there's something we could do there. It could be it could be real solid and nice. Now what I'm just trying to do right now is pick where to put our the ballroom sign. I was thinking, I uh, just had the thought that we could maybe put a custom sign here, but I don't want a block view to the ball because it's a freaking, it's a glorious sight when you first walk in. I'm, I can't, I can't have that. Another such option might be to put it over here, but that's quite high. It might work. I'm just trying to, I'm picturing like when you first walk in. I went the wrong way. Jesus. What a bloke. This way. Yeah, I mean, it would be visible there. It's not ideal, though. Hmm. It's quite it's quite the pickle. Oh, we've got to go in this house, too. We've got a VIP, and I'll, I'll show you in a hot sec. Jeez, ah, this is tricky. This is a real tricky time. Because I could just stick a piece of wood in the floor and then put letters on that, but that's that's a bit lame. If this were somehow usable, that'd be cool, but it's it's curved, so that's definitely not going to work. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Rude. I think maybe this is the this is our best shot for right now. So power. Neon. So I've used white. I've not used red. I've used orange. I haven't used yellow. I've used green, I haven't used blue, and I haven't used purple. I think yellow for the ballroom would be cool. How high will it let me place? Pretty high. So that's good. Uh, is that surface snapping? I think it is. It must be, right? The... Ball... Ballroom. Please fit good. I think it's going to fit okay. That's actually not too bad, you know. I'm quite... I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably pleased. So, uh, let's go... Uh, we, need to, we need to power this up. Hopefully it's not going to be, like, too obvious. <laughs> uh, where, where's, the best, where's the best spot for that? Off... Off our defense bloke? They're doing a lot of work already. All right, let's, we'll go from here. Nice. That's not bad. That's not bad. It, it, it could be a bit... could stand to maybe be a little higher, but you can see that from a lot of spots. It's a bit glitchy, though. It might be because I've got, um, I've got uh, the Dynavision mod, which is like a, uh, like a nice depth of field thing. You can see it okay. It's there, for sure. Nice. All right, cool. I'm, 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 I'm all right with that. Solid. Um... Next, sorry, I'm, I, I realize I'm very conscious of me saying um a lot. I'm saying that because I am not nervous, but I'm kind of going a mile a minute here uh, because I'm trying to explain and catch up on everything that we've that we've missed, that well that you've missed because I've been being a, I've had to be a bloke and I lost I lost footage. We're just gonna ride over this. I don't even care. We don't need. It's not the north sector anymore. <laughs> it's not really that evil, so I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna whoops that that was I think it's not gonna fit. Dying oh no it might. Um D I N I God I wanna make a typo. Dining Yeah that works. Oh, where's the G gone? What? Excuse me? Hello? That's weird. What a Rudy. Uh, I'm just going to power this so I can try to see what the heck is going on. We can probably just like hide a bit of a conduit there. What do you reckon? Go off this bloke. That's baffling. 
Can I get to it from the back side? Wow. So rude. Can I can I hit it's not even got like a reasonable hitbox. I'm gonna quick save because this is we're likely to break something here. <laughs> um That's not going to help. This does seem to have a hitbox. The G is just gone. <laughs> That's so peculiar. Ah, oh, God, now I'm getting a phone call. Hang on, everyone. Okay, I'm back. We, we're all good. Uh, it was just, it was Mrs. K I, I had to answer. Um, it's fine. If I, what if I put it there? Nah. What the heck, man? That's it. I'm doing it. You know what I'm gonna do? Yep. Fight me. Get ruined. <laughs> that may have been a little rash, but I don't even care. We're going to put a better sign. <laughs> uh, there might actually be a better. It's not, it's not good. It's not a sign. Don't, don't even trip. But again, my, 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 my good buddy. Uh, was it, is it this misc? Yeah. Look at this. It's a, it's a far, it's a far superior sign. It's not even. <laughs> Look, this is roleplay, okay? I, I I absolutely foresee a situation where Ron, where Ron would crack the shits and just tear the sign down. Don't even trip about it. <laughs> and look, frankly, we just had to. Yeah, that was just bull. That was bull. Let's try this again, shall we? All right, so far so good. Last time we collapsed in a, in a heap when we reached the G. Alright, we're still winning. It's not going to fit, is it? Now, I'm going to ask a really dumb question on camera right now. Is there a space? Hyphen, or do we just leave a space? Basically, is there a piece of wire to enable, like, a correct space? Does that make sense? It doesn't look like it. I know it seemed kind of dumb. But, yeah, to keep this all perfectly uniform, is what I'm trying to say. Doesn't look like it. I guess we could just arbitrarily place a letter, couldn't we? Duh. Oh, it looks like we're gonna fit. Just. Oops. Alright. And get rid of this bloke. Dining hall! It's a tiny bit... F I could go a little further that way, but... Ah, we'll have to deal with it, to be honest. Uh, Marquee? Yeah. Yeah. Where would we? We'll put, our, we'll put our own arrows in, and they will be better arrows. But first, I'll do this. <laughs> um, Back to this, blokes. Did I put the right color? Can I not... Wait, will they not snap underneath? Is this real life? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unplayable game. Zero out of eight. How's that? I mean, for, look, for manual placement, we're doing not bad. Oh. Look, it's fine. Oh, has he just nailed it? No, no. <laughs> How'd the first one come out so freaking good? Mate. Alright, I think that side's good. This... This is unbelievable. It's impossible. The the base... The, the base is crooked, obviously. Wow! Wait, hang on. That's, that's the... That's the face there. This... This is... This is Fallout 4. Oh, this is... Sim this is... This is just settlement building. I think that's gonna be okay. That's pretty. That's. It's, I think it's a little off center, but it's fine. 
especially for, you know, waffling on camera. Can we, can we fit two? Yeah. Yeah. It's doing a bit, it's doing a bit of a stupid there, though. I want it to be, like, as far back as I can. There we go. Oh, see? No, it's doing the bullshit. God damn it, Megan. Um, are you even, like, doing a... That's hanging off a little more than I would care for. How- what? Oh, okay. I was about to lose my shit. Hello? Man, this guy's been a bloke. Which surface do you- which surface are you trying to adhere to? I can't even! Whoever wrote this code needs to be fired from Bethesda. It's gonna have to do. Whatever. God damn it. I'm so mad. All right, it also in the spirit of the previous episodes I was recording, we're gonna spend an excessive amount of time playing this game. Uh, <laughs> I did like some 40 minute episodes because I just couldn't stop playing. But now look, we'll at least place one plot down um, that serves meaning and purpose, <laughs> essentially. Uh, so we'll go down here. The next thing, and I've been thinking about this a lot. I don't remember if I mentioned this in my last batch, but there's a temptation to do a bit of everything, you know, just sprawl out as quickly as possible and just build everywhere at once, which is what I'm, I'm actively trying to avoid. What I'm much preferring to try and do is finish, finish each area or at least this, this first like main, these main areas off and then take it from there. So the ballroom, I think, is mostly done. Um, just pending some, like, some... All right, Bonnie, it's fine. Pending some minor decoration. And, you know, just make it feel a little bit more alive and a little more lived in. Uh, and then this area, and then the dining hall, and the pool. The pool room's pretty close to done as well, I think. Uh, but this needs a lot of work. We, we can fit so many plots in here. And we, we need to, basically. Uh, one thing that's just bothering me right off the bat, though. <laughs> There's decoration... What am I doing? You know, you know what's coming. SOE barriers. May as well continue this, right? Because this is uh, this is an otherwise like pointless corner. So we'll um we'll get this up to here, right? We're not going to fit another one, are we? All right, we'll put um we'll put one of these blokes in, just for a bit of variety. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm trying to put some stuff in just to give a bit of sh a bit of shape. You know, and I just realized here, for example, that was just this was something I was messing around with. If I point it out a little further that way, it's giving you more of that pathway sort of flow. You know what I'm saying? There's there is there is a method to my madness, and then we could put another turret back here because this does need some defense. However, unlikely it is that we'll actually find bad guys that make it this far into the area, but yeah, it's a thing we've got to keep in the back of our mind. So that's done. That corner, I think we can probably fence this corner off too, to be honest. Uh, while I'm in the right area, I'll, I'll just do it right now. And I'll, again, I'll just use more of the police barriers, because they're, they're the longest. And I think in this, for long stretches, these look better, because they're a little more out of the way, you know? Do, do a bit of that, and then we'll twist one around there. Yep. Nice. That's looking good. See, but for, like, for smaller runs, I think they look okay, so... Yeah! All right! As promised, I'll place a plot down. Uh, we need lighting in this corner too. This looks real dank and dark. And not in a good way. Uh, yeah, we got power here. Very good. I'm an organized boy. Um, what lights do I want to put? That is the question. I've been using some um, defense meta. Even though they're terrible for actual defense. Oh god, the only problem with this mod... Is to get to the regular stuff is real rude. <laughs> um, ah, God. Spotlight. Just because of because the light moves. That is the only reason I like them. <laughs> is the answer to this question. Uh, now, I do have a power boy over here. Though I don't like that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we have to get power to this back wall then. See, there's just so there's so much to do. While while I'm having a lot of fun building here, it's a complex it's a complex beast. 
It's just, it's, it's real. There's a lot of, there's a lot of complications. Now, if I can, if I can tap in. Yes. All right, very good. Very good. And then that's gonna, that's gonna service this, this whole wall here. Oh, baby. Yep, that's working for me. That's doing the, that's doing the juju. Uh, that, what is that? What, that, that didn't make any sense. <sighs> All right. Structures SOE. I've shown, I've shown you this before, so we'll just breeze through it. Um, if I can freaking remember how to do them without the... Without the uh, foundations, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, wait, multi-story. I was just, I was just blowing through them. All right, here we go. Uh, surface snap off. What are we, what are we dealing with here? What are we dealing with? We gotta get, we gotta get tied in here. I think I might even get rid of this dirt pile. Yep. Had to be done. Don't at me. Right? How's that? Are we nice and close? That's a pretty close boy. We can probably just wrap it around a little fraction. Yep. And then... Half story. Object snap, though? There we go. There we go. Here we go. And now we're going to turn it back off. <laughs> this custom strats, man. Takes a lot of work. Uh, we'll, we, we will go more commercial. Actually, no. You know what? Recreational. I haven't done one of these yet. And we've got commercial coming out, our, out the wazoo. So let's try one of these and see what options we have. Alright, we're pretty good on the floor. Uh, forward a scooch, maybe? Let's have a look. We could maybe just jig it a little bit. Just give it a little bit of a jig, you know? Not a, not a full... You don't want to go full jig. Never want to go full jig. Are right, we can work with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, this is the steady area, so quote-unquote recreation would be real suitable here. <laughs> uh, how we go placement-wise? That's not bad. That's not bad. Maybe we've got to bring this bloke just forward a little, a little scoocheroo. Uh, what do we got? All right, let's see. I haven't even looked since I've installed a bunch more mods um, as to what this will do for us. Like, well, we've got bathroom, classic. Hobo soup kitchen, that's cool. A regular kitchen, too. Ah, oh, the soup kitchen's kind of tempting, actually, because that would be really suitable down here. Mini bathroom. This will be stuff to fit in. Boxcars. Laundry. That's a cool one. Mini? What, what would this be? Motorbike repair. <laughs> well, would people use vehicles down here? I feel like they'd have more, like, um, bikes and, and dune buggies and that kind of thing, you know? Rec room. Room for your settled sun. Wine pathing. Fever blossom? Is that, is that drugs? Fever Blossom Garden? That, se that seems like drugs. Magical Mushroom Gardens? <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Abbott's Art Studio. Now, I was really intrigued by this, though. We, should, we definitely need to put at least a couple of these in. Get me out of here, though. I'm really excited to see that built, actually. Now, yeah, but look, we got this daggy corner here. Uh, <laughs> I can't get anything right, to be honest. What am I going to do here? Hmm. Unless I, like, do some... Ugh. I don't even know. Ugh. <laughs> I'm real mad about it. Definitely you can put a plot here, too. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We can do one more. I'm already... I'm already... I'm already in too deep. Whoops. With this... With this episode time, fight me. USS Constitution. I say... I should stop saying that like that so often. But don't, don't even trip. Um, I really like... I, I'm, I'm quite fond of this like real dirty whitewash looking one. You know? I reckon just there? That's... Mate. Winning. But actually though. Just to try and make it look a little... More flush to this pillar. Get flush to the pillar. I'm a, I'm, I'm a musician, so I was allowed to do that. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm alright with that. Alright, cool. Man, I feel like editing that last bit out. What was I, what was I saying? God damn it. Rec I'm going to do another recreational plot. I'm, I'm very intrigued by all of these. we got, we got to put one of the drug ones in. <laughs> I mean, it might not be. <laughs> but that's what, that's what I'm taking from it. 
it's it's it sounds like a it sounds like some shady operations. Nailed it again, stoked as. So like we're not in any like any desperate need. I've said it many times. We're not really doing any. Calm down, Bonnie. We're not doing anything. We, there's no pressing need for scrap and stuff because we're we're circumventing that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um. Yeah, the, I want to do the laundry. Too. There's so many of these that I want to do. You know what we'll do? We'll we'll do the laundry here. I think, like, especially with the brothel here, this would probably be where the drug. This is where the drugs occur. We'll leave this corner dark on purpose, right? This is legitimate business over here. <laughs> Don't even trip. All right, cool. This is really can't look, Bonnie. I'm I'm trying to work here. I'm making you a living, you Rudy. I haven't even looked at this. That's real cool. One last thing, I'll run past you. This is like a special edition episode now. I don't even know if anyone's going to watch this deep into the. I, I think some of you do. There's a there's a committed there's a committed bunch among you, which is real cool. Am I am I going the right way? I think I am. If we get up to here, I was thinking of making this Ron's digs. Because. There's nothing else to put here. Plots aren't really going to fit, and there's a lot of junk around here. I think this would work real well as, like, Ron's secret area. And I know there's the bad guys up there. I haven't dealt with that situation yet, because uh, we haven't built this deep. But this could be a cool place for it, right? It's out of the way. He can, he can do his private studying and other private things. <laughs> uh, and it's just in a good spot. And then he's got, like, his surveyor position here. It's real nice. So let me know what you think. I, I reckon that'll work. The only... New students will be having to run all the way there to like sleep and stuff. Uh, but that, yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about with color coding meta. See, I want to put an arrow here that tells me what the heck I'm going to when I walk here. I'm fairly sure this is going to take me back to the dining hall. But I'm not 100% sure. No, see? It took me back to freaking Scrap's End. Look at this bar's upgraded, by the way. It looks real nice. But mate, this is looking like a, it's looking like such a thing. I'm a I'm I'm a real proud boy. But look, we're gonna leave it here for the time being, ladies and gents. As always, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Again, I'm real sorry for the unfortunate incident with the footage of the previous ones. I hope you will forgive me. Otherwise, I'll see you again in the next one. My name is Kluger, and you have a great freaking day.